So it's Monday morning. We had breakfast and after breakfast he told me that he wanted to go for a walk. So naturally I just started to put my shoes on. I thought he meant together, but he said he wanted to go alone. He was working on an idea for a film, mapping it out in his mind as it were. I was a little hurt to be honest, but I understand the creative process is a very delicate dance. Ford is a genius. I'd seen all of his films before we've ever even met. I always found them searing and penetrating in a very powerful way. So I didn't want to question his process. So he went out and I took a shower and this was about noon. So I decided to do some writing. I'm a poet vocationally and I was working on this poem untitled 103 that it's about the wind and the wind as a metaphor for God. And I was very absorbed, very productive. I was just vomiting images like spoiled sushi. That may be an ill-considered metaphor, but you get my gist. So I was just very productive when I looked at the clock and it was 10.30. I've been writing all of this time and I haven't heard from four. Is it possible that he'd been walking for ten and a half hours? I wasn't familiar with his process, so I tried not to worry and I decided to go to sleep. But I couldn't sleep. I was just picturing in my mind Ford in a hospital or dead in a ditch. And then, of course, nothing happened to him. He's left me. He's gone. We've rushed into this. <laughs> he's gone. I was too aggressive or I was just too passive. I was just too passive aggressive. I went into a shame spiral. And then I cried and I cursed. And I prayed that this was a terrible dream that any minute I would wake up and Ford would be lying next to me. And suddenly, the phone rang. I looked at the clock, 6.15. It was him. I was so relieved. Hello, where are you, Ford? I tried to keep the panic out of my voice because I didn't want to seem for a minute the overbearing wife. Hey, I'm fine. I'm working on a film and I just need some time. And he hung up. He hung up. And I haven't heard from him since. 